Unfortunately, I only experimented with this after I created the hardest Spyro moments video, but PlayStation 1 games in 4K look surprisingly good. It's using the same sprites, textures and draw distances as the original game, but they hold up surprisingly well when shown at a higher resolution. I've always respected the Spyro games for being one of the few from the PlayStation 1 era to have unlimited draw distances, and playing them at a higher resolution really lets you see the clever level of detail techniques they use to achieve this. Baskets and other things are represented by incredibly low poly models from middling distances onwards and gems are removed entirely, substituted by an occasional glint effect which does the job surprisingly well. These things are standard practice in newer games, but back in the day, most games ran the surrounding area a fixed detail setting and then cut off the rest of the level with fog. I expected more problems than I got. I noticed a bit of slowdown at points, but surprisingly the sound was the most problematic bit. Looks as though the emulator I used struggled to play them back at the correct speed. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad! Look here, Dragon! I'm sure that with tweaks I could get this all working. Really, I just wanted to say that I've played these games in 4K. And now I have. Next up, 8K? Or maybe I should just play more new games that actually make the most of my system's power. Don't worry, I do do that as well. Strangely, it doesn't like Hunter's character model. It looks as though he's been moderately roasted. It began making me question if he's always been like this, but I just never noticed before. Everything else looks fine though. So yeah, I managed all this using the OpenGL driver rather than PSXE's default soft graphics driver. Wish I'd experimented with it sooner. When playing this game, the audio was in sync, but for some reason it all went out of time when I watched the recorded video clip that I captured of it, meaning that I had to stretch it out and realign it in my video editing software again. But one thing that was universally broken throughout was this purple seal creature's dialogue. 